there's something else that is behind you. I'm sure you've had um, <coughs> opportunity to go through the <laughs> mathematics 101 according to Vice Chair Juliana Cherera. Of course, um, I don't know what that was because the statement was okay. Um, then go to the point of um, misrepresenting percentages. And obviously we know for sure, for sure, that uh, um, the 0.01% should be 1,421 uh, votes. That is based on their valid votes. But should it be such a big issue or we're reading too much into clerical errors? Well, it, will, it is a very uh, critical issue. <coughs> Sorry, very important. Huh? And that's why at the Supreme Court, We'll want to know the kind of calculator the Supreme Court will use because it must vary from the kind of calculator Chebukati used and the kind of calculator that uh, uh, Juliana Cherera used. Mm -hmm. Because it seems that either the calculators that are being used by the Commission are very old and dysfunctional that are giving room to these uh, uh, mathemat mathematical errors. Because, for example, uh, these variants in terms of what uh, Vice Chair Cherera said and or read out as the figures that she thinks are at issue and the correct figures. Huh? It also means that they did not take time to verify these figures. Of course, I know that the individual commissioners or the commissioners are not the ones that were doing the real tallying uh, of these votes. It is uh, the technical team. <clears throat> and they were being fed by this information or being given this information for them to come and pronounce. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, these numerical issues or discrepancies are issues that um, are going to be central to uh, this uh, Supreme Court petition. And that's why, mm -hmm. like uh, Dan says, this petition is very important. One, jurisprudentially for our country and even in our body of law. Second, to Raila Odinga who has said that he is seeking justice. Three, for our democracy. Mm that will be ameliorated by way of the outcome of the Supreme Court decision. Four, by seeing how the institution that manages our election, the IBC, mm -hmm. can be strengthened for better results at the next uh, election, election management. But beyond that, at issue here as well is this, that how come and will it be possible that an IBC mm -hmm. or an institution that manages our election can get it wrong in a presidential election, a general election, which it prepared for, was properly financed to do. And beyond that, when they did their dry runs, they said that at least they have got serious confidence in their readiness and the preparation, mm -hmm. as well as the stakeholders. And that's why the qualitative issues have not been so much at issue in uh, uh, this outcome. But beyond that, of course, we all know the additional issue is how this election and the determination of the court will render the political place of Raila Odinga. Will he suffer the fate and the circumstance of his father, who, despite being a very great cultivator of Kenya's uh, struggle for independence mm -hmm. and for Raila Odinga, for our multi-party democracy, that never really ascended to that high office that each of them desired. Now, after 25 years of great effort, sacrifice, hard work, Raila Odinga was making his third, his, rather his fifth, and possibly fifth uh, final stab at the presidency. Then, if at all the Supreme Court upholds the election of William Ruto, would that not then render Raila Odinga as a career presidential contender who now will not have possibly another chance to run in 2027, 2027? Or now will it give him another opportunity to contest the presidency the sixth time, if at all a fresh election is ordered, and then uh, he runs with the hope again of winning? Still a career presidential contender in the circumstances. 